Welcome to another episode of the Rim World series, and it looks like we have our first infection. Sienna has gotten sick from infection. The infection is in her left foot. Entry of a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Sienna gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible, because these can kill them. So, we look here. We have. Um, infection, minor, and then there's a percentage and immunity in that percentage. And if the infection up top gets to 100% before the immunity, they'll die. Full. Not great. Got the medicine. Uh, let's go up one. And... Alien. I know you're tired, buddy. But... Would you at least tend to her infection? Please end, thank you. After sh after that first one, it's usually all you need to get the infection or your immunity up above the infection. Uh, but I will be obviously keeping a very close eye on it. Why is she wearing a tainted jacket? It's funny, there's no warning over here about it. Uh, so I'm gonna be checking. No edit. Old weather. Oh yeah, don't don't do that. Don't wear clothes off of dead people, please. <laughs> Are the other ones also have that still? Oh lord, what a mess. All right, so I've gotten this set up. So that means when in battle, they'll use their soldier uniforms, not Delion, because he doesn't go into battle. I don't need him taking, like, a helmet from somebody who's actually going to be being attacked. Uh, so that'll be nice. Nope, it's snowing again. Just double check it. Okay. We may lose some stuff like this. Let's go ahead and just have that harvest. And that harvested. I don't know if anyone will harvest those because I think Sienna's the only grower. No wing. I could do it too. What you doing, buddy? Ah, he's cleaning. I will. He's not on plant cutting. Uh. Oh. So let's have him do that one and that one. Hopefully, he's not cutting them down because I think I said harvest and the option to cut is still there so hopefully he doesn't just uh destroy this tree okay good yeah it's starting to get um some snow which will slow how they how fast they can walk as one could imagine uh i might do so sienna needs treatment for her infection Ah, yes. You can tend before the tending expires. Oh no, I need this to be. Do we have any more? What are we at? 40 out of 20? That should be okay. But I think the next one I'll probably bump it up to industrial again. Ooh, wait, I think there's a mod that lets me make medicine yes let's make bandaged kits and do until we have 10 so we can and hemp i don't want it out of these because they're um pretty really good for clothes so let's put that up first now who's our crafter oh it's delian but he's actually the the cook right now. What's Jackie gonna be doing then? Oh, he's in bed. All right, fine. That's that makes sense. Uh, then I may make wing. Um, tend to those clothes. Cause I'd really like it if you made some bandages for her. Cause that's under the same tier as the the herbal medicine, I believe. He's gonna move this out of the way and then hopefully that he'll be working on those bandages but then the last thing I was gonna say is I may build 
a bit of a roof lip situation over probably the houses so at least there's like some paths that aren't snowy so let's do zone build roof and then we'll do just like a like this I'm gonna build over the iron one tree yeah and then there would be one there but we're not there yet it's nice having the fridge not a dirt floor that's something we should do we should get uh, more floors. We should um, work on getting Delian's room to not be this. Oh yeah. So Wayne has made some bandage kits. That's that's really nice. I'm a little sad that the cloth is going to that instead of clothing, but I'd rather her not die. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I th I think Sienna is gonna be fine. So. Oop. We're at 80% and the infection is at 50. So she she should be fine. And once that, um, once the immunity hits 100, she'll be fine to be up and walking and doing all that stuff. Jackie really got it. Quite injured, that fight. <laughs> nope. Where are you going? No, you can hold that in. <laughs> She walked all the way out here in the middle of the night, picked those berries, and was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> she must have just needed a a walk. Saw them. Yeah, she's hanging out with Wang. That's fun. Hopefully they're getting a good relationship. That's yeah, it's going a little better. Oh nice. The rescue me applies to rescuing your downed teammates now. That must be part of... Oh, hello boom rat. Um, I guess it's a boomalope. It is either with the new update or my hunch is it's part of the uh, new psychology mod. But I like that. It's really nice. Oh, he's making a winter hat. That's exciting. Uh, I don't know who will get who will need that first. Looks like Jackie got it. Does Jackie have- no he doesn't have a coat on. That's fine. New Delion's also working on uh, tearing down the um, tainted clothing and stuff. That's good. Oh Jackie's fully healed. Yay everyone's up and running now. That's exciting. Uh, once I build up this power I'm gonna reconnect it. This light so the core doesn't go across the entire room. I can actually reconnect now and just wait for him to finish. Um. We are actually out of materials for that. So let's go ahead and mine those. That should give us enough. Oh, look at the little guinea pigs! Wonder if we should get one for our uh, colonists. Don't for them to to be nuzzled by. I just don't know how much they take for food. Obviously they can roam and eat grass, so that would be good because I've got a lot of wandering space. The only thing you have to worry about is like in the winter. If it snows a lot, all the grass goes away. Let's do it. Let's just commit. Let's tame a guinea pig. They may attack upon failed tam taming attempts. 2%. Please don't get attacked by a guinea pig. All right, Sebastian's attempted to tame the guinea pig. Who knew this was a potentially dangerous situation? Oh, he didn't. He didn't get it. <laughs> he sat near the guinea pig and talked to himself about wearing belts. <laughs> he then sat patiently near the guinea pig. He then feigned inattention towards the guinea pig, so he ignored it. And then he pointed at the ground and demanded the guinea pig come. The guinea pig refused. We have not tamed the guinea pig yet. <laughs> Quite the adventure over here. Decided today was a unroof day. We'll get the garden some uh, sunlight today. There you go, guys. Not an ideal temperature, but at least you're not getting injured. No rot happening here. Not on my watch. I also decided to dig out this little little bit of stone here so we'd have more storage space. I think the dog just ate some ambrosia. Ariel, you feeling good? 
Yep. She had herself some ambrosia. I wonder if animals can get addicted. I think they might be able to. Not sure. The thing I want to avoid is, as you can see over on the bottom left, it says rock roof thin. As soon as it says overhead mountain, there becomes a chance that we'll get the bug infections. Um, those, like the ones we saw, had in the first save that we had, those big bugs that ended up killing everybody. So they could just dig into your colony if you dig into mountains. So we have two options. One, do our best not to have mountain overhead, um, which I'm trying to do. But the other thing I could do is build a trap, like out here. Like say I want to mine this compacted steel. What I could do is do a certain setup that meets all the requirements for the bugs and then they'll spawn out there instead of in my colony. But I think we have a nice enough setup that I may be able to avoid overhead mountain as long as I don't dig too far in because the first, I think it's either just the first or maybe the first couple in are just uh, thin. So that's fine. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. All right. <laughs> this has all been for naught. So I just finished roofing this, but there's blight on the rice plants. So we don't cut all of this immediately. It'll affect everything else. You know, need this to be your guys' number one priority. Maybe we could save the corn. Katiana is so much faster. All right, now she's gonna replant them. <sighs> what a pain. At least they got the blight taken care of before it spread to the corn. We'll be able to um, just take the roof off in like four days. So then it'll be spring and it's less likely to freeze and destroy all our plants. So. Okay. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Okay, uh, jump to the place. Oof, she's not looking great. She's been shot in the leg. Okay, so my message went away. Grab this. Uh, a medieval sailor named Lucy has crashed in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. Lucy is from the enemy, the Dogs of Cruelty. You can cr capture her for recruitment purposes or slavery purposes. So dogs of Crowley, so we can't uh, make friends by like saving her and then releasing her um okay <laughs> so she can only fight tend to animals make art talk and then she could do the cleaning and the um cleaning and uh carrying stuff <laughs> that's pretty much all she's good for <laughs> She can't do any skilled labor. Um, all right, let's just rescue her and then release her, even if we don't get anything from it. Uh, who's out here? Uh, you're taming the guinea pig. Okay. Billion, what are you doing? Ah, okay. How about you go ahead and first we need to change this to prisoner. We'll get some practice on medical stuff. Why has this not been repaired? I'll have to look at that in a second. I guess I can do it right now. Is it not considered part of the home? Please tend to these things. All right, Um, right, let's go ahead and just do medical um, attention, but no band-aids or anything like that. And then strip. So Sebastian's with that. Oh, he's already repaired that. But let's get this guy built up then. Oh, it looks like she's got an infection. Time to release her back in the world. <laughs> uh, release. Be free, person. Thanks for your clothes. Thanks for tending to that. Can you release her? Oh, she probably can't walk. 
Yeah, she probably is not well enough. All right, fine. Oh well, she's in our care. I guess she can have the herbal level, so the bandages for her infection, until she's good enough to get out. Sebastian, please don't botch the repairs. It's expensive equipment that you're wasting. All right, now Lucy's gonna be set free. Thanks. Bye. Ah, Thrombos. Uh, they've wandered the area. Peaceful by nature, these rare creatures are extremely dangerous when confronted. Some traders are willing to pay a lot of money for their precious leather and horn. Uh, I meant to jump to location. But they shouldn't be too hard to locate. They're not small. There they are. Hey guys. So, um... <laughs> it used to be that what you could do would be when they go to sleep you could build a room around them and then you just put copious amounts of alcohol in there with them and that once they would get hungry they'd drink the alcohol and then they'd get drunk and then uh, they'd be too drunk to fight back and that's how people would um, kill thrombos. <laughs> I've never done it, not interested in doing it, I just let them walk by. I, ooh, pretty doll creatures and then that's all they get from me. <laughs> Uh, something else we can be doing is under security. Spike trap and then granite. And well, I set these along the very edge so that when they come around the corner too sharp, it hits them. <laughs> Just want to build this guy longer, I would say. Like so. We don't need them like standing right here. This is to keep as many. Uh, like melee-ers give us enough time to shoot at them before they reach us. That's my thinking. My thought process on this. I have it set up the door here. We're going out. But I actually think what I will do is have it come out somewhere around here. Because then what we can do is split the group so there's half of them here and here and if anyone comes down this direction they can attack from both directions. I think will work really well. And then I think even anyone who comes from up in this general direction, if your people are out here, they'll come around instead of going behind and attacking your wall. We'll see. What I could do is have like a wall and then two doors out. So that if they do come out this direction, they just step around. The thing that's nice about these spike traps is they can pretty much one hit anyone who trips them. They just take a very long time to build. And it seems like your colonists are pretty good at not triggering them themselves. Which used to be a pretty big uh, concern. Another transport. Okay, a veterinarian named Grondifer has crashed in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he'll be badly wo wounded. He's from the Batmafuna. If you rescue him, he may join freely. Otherwise, he will return home and spread goodwill about your faction. You can also capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes, but this will anger his people. Well, we wouldn't want to do that. Uh, I need to get better at clicking the jump to. He's literally in our yard. Oh, uh, hey, Delian. Do you want to? Do you want to rescue him? I guess we need to put your bed back. Uh. So so can we just rescue him how he is? Rescue. Non-prisoner safe. Uh, medical. And rescue. So let's see, would we even want him to join us? Um, he's not a very active person, he isn't very physically fit, but he enjoys sitting around all day doing, working on things. So if we had him crafting where he sits, that would uh, make him happy. Chemical interest. Can't be social. Ah, because he was a Mito's kid. He would be nice for cleaning and carrying stuff. And being a doctor. We have a lot of potential doctors around in here. I can't say I'm upset. Can you imagine sitting here just like chipping away at a rock trying to make a freaking brick? And all of a sudden just a human- <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll uh, come over and help you. Animal disease, the flu. Make sure they get proper treatment and rest as much as possible. 
Okay. Um, who's our best doctor? Eight, nine. I actually will let Del Delian do it because we need someone to have a really high medical to treat Sienna's anxiety. So it doesn't do any good to be continuing to raise hers up. God, I'd be really sad if we lost our puppy. Uh, the flu is doing better, so we're gonna up it to her next treatment being a better medicine quality. I wonder if this guy's gonna join us or leave. What injuries does he have? He's been scratched, cracked, so pretty much his injuries are from the crash. When they come in with like a gunshot, I'm like, mm, that's not from the landing. What did you do that made you get shot and then projectiled onto the planet? <laughs> We're still working on taming that hamster, guinea pig. I to wonder if it's worth it with how much fruit we've had to spend just getting it to join. 15% chance. Alright, no guinea pig for you guys. It's just eating our food. Oh, Sebastian. Been working on that for two days and he messed it up. I wonder if Sienna can take over the job from Sebastian. Sebastian, you can build the walls. <laughs> hey, he can no he's no longer incapable of walking. I'll be curious to see if he stays around or leaves. I have a feeling since as soon as he could walk, he didn't stay, that he will end up leaving. But he may prove me wrong. There again, Sienna, but could you please do that instead of Sebastian? <laughs> Getting another trap because this area is really nice. There's so little space for them that they're very likely to trip it. Since it's the last day of the winter. Did I toggle this wrong? No, it should be refueled. I don't know why they've been putting that off so hard. But let's go ahead and unroof this guy. Hold open. Oh, hello, Thombro. Um, general animals won't trigger the trap unless they're enraged in some capacity, so like Manhunter or something like that. Otherwise, they don't really, um, th they can walk over it and not trip it. Which is good, because you don't want to accidentally, you know, make this guy angry. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this guy's not sitting in the dark. Comfortably settled in. A nice, comfortable place to rest for a while. Just the way I like it. Alright, go. Cool. We haven't had any predators on the map in a while. I only know this because usually I uh, go get their leftovers, but they just haven't been around. We've got a group of visitors, the people of Barga. They may have items to choose or to sell. Uh, so they probably won't have much, maybe some med medicine and stuff like that. Yay, it's the first day of spring. We made it through the winter. Our food stock's not doing great. Yeah. I I'm having them hunt some of the guinea pigs. <laughs> I hate it, but their fur is really nice. <laughs> okay, now looking at the right spot. Who is good at trading? Well, let's have Delian after he's done praying. Okay. Uh, restricts you guys at home for now. I mean, you can carry that first. No. Or don't. Just get in the house, I guess. And then I guess you can be the one to trade with these guys. I don't know why one boar went mad. A local boar has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Okay. Oh. They'll, they'll take a lot, which is nice. They've got food, medicine, and a weapon. I'll just uh, look through here real quick. So I've gone ahead. This also re reminds me that I need to give uh, this gun back to Jackie, I believe. But I'm selling them all of our uh, terrible weapons. We just got some coin. Got cleaned out this quite a bit. One of these. Uh, Jackie, where you at? You're eating. You're or cooking. When you're done with that. Would you do me a solid and equip that? Did that pig just die somewhere? I have a feeling that pig just died somewhere. 
Ah, poop. Yes. Okay. Fine. Um. <laughs> the cost of our thing, but I guess I didn't have to get attacked. Be free, everybody. I'm annoyed that uh, I have to rebuild that from scratch. It should have been automatically on the. Oh, auto rearm, please. Yes. I wish that was the default. Alright, so that guy is fully healed. And he's gonna move out. Well, thanks for stopping by. Should have taken his clothes. Oh well. So, uh, we are now from z to 0 to 16. Woohoo! It's exciting. Now, please auto rearm that. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. There have been several people who just fall from the sky. <laughs> um, when we- actually they both ended up just walking off the map, so that was good. And it's, it's now spring, so we can uh, open up the garden and we can take this guy down. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and until next time, hope you have a wonderful day.